Hey everyone, welcome uh, to another episode or video. It's, I think it's number four on uh, building this uh, good sized battery. I wanted to do uh, thank everybody who's liking, subscribing, and sharing this. My goal with this is just to share the uh, information. Um, if somebody's looking to build this kind of thing and uh, you know, or a battery pack, um, that way it's easier for them to figure out as I'm figuring this out myself. Uh, made a lot of progress. I want to thank all the people who's commenting and uh, giving information on what to do and uh, you know what should I look for. Uh, one of the comments was Solark, um, as that's what I run here, 15K, um, that I should uh, be looking at the, uh, it can pick up to 600 amps. Um, I looked into that before even starting with this build and uh, uh, I think it'd be more than enough uh, for what I'm doing because uh, I have five PMS, um, as everybody probably knows if you've watched my previous videos. Um, there, so that's about 500 uh, amp hours of accessibility to the solar. Uh, they can spike higher, but I'm, I'm, you know, and then I also have another 600 amp BMS with this setup. Um, if anybody, anybody's interested in buying this, I'm, I don't, I don't use this as much anymore. Uh, so that's another 600 amp BMS. So I have about 1100 amp hour um, as far as the BMS by itself, total capacity of this current system is about 2000 amp hours. So I got plenty of juice for this um, Solark to run on. So thank you for the comments. Um, I wanted to bring in how far I, last video I showed how I modified this case. Um, I took the fan off, I'm working on that. So wait on another video on that. Uh, so what I end up doing, like I told in a previous video, I end up just cutting um, right here where the cells um, come to 16. If you see my marking here, just for reference point. So this is my cell one, two, three, four, five, six, and then down 10 more down this way. Um, and if you notice, the wiring is different color. So what I end up doing is basically, if this is a purple cell two, I should have a you know six plus volt. And I trace that down to the harness where it comes right here. And this is where I tapped in and had the BMS um, go, you know, leads go to that. So I didn't have to rewire or solder or do anything. All I had to do is just tap into that. And for those, I used uh, Quick Connects. They're Dolphin uh, with the gel already on them. They're cheap at Amazon. I'll try to put a link up there. I'm not affiliated with any of that stuff, but that's what I found uh, was recommended by uh, uh, Battery Hookup on that. So this is kind of what it looks like uh, from the top down. So this is the uh, four cells that I'm left with. Uh, so if you notice, this is my um, negative. So this is a four um, gauge cable I end up using. They're same distance on all the different packs. Uh, it's a flex silicone type cable, so it can, it can uh, wire, it can handle uh, quite a bit of juice. Um, so amperage and um, haven't noticed this stuff getting hot and all. One advice if you guys doing uh, a BMS wiring and you're trying to use the factory uh, wires on this is cut one at a time. Uh, take the voltage reading off each because um, if you try to cut them remember they're all wired and, and live so you might short something out. So you know like I said earlier uh, one wire at a time. Um, measure the voltage make sure you got the right uh, color and then wire that to your BMS. And as far uh, BMS goes um, I showed you earlier, it was a 100 amp BMS, so I end up actually hiding it right here. I'm not sure how clear it'll come across. So it's right there, and that worked out perfect. So it sits right, and there's no interference, and it mounts right to the back of the pack itself. Um, and as far as the, the bus bars go, so I still have a disconnect, which is, uh, have four of these, one on each pack, uh, which works out great for this. And uh, you see the marking here, 48 volts, so that's my positive for this pack. And then on this side, with the pass-through, this is my negative for this pack. So it's consistent throughout the all four packs. Like I said, I've been pretty busy. So this is what the overall uh, rack looks like. I'll step back a little bit um, to show you. Um, so that's kind of what the overall rack looks like. So uh, the, the pieces here, they're super strut. As I mentioned earlier, they're about 20 bucks at Home Depot or 25 bucks. Um, I bought this stuff a long time ago for my solar or other projects. Um, so basically the rack is made out of that um, and it worked out great because I can I welded the shelves or you can uh, bolt them similar to this just basically cut to the size and then just use uh, some sort of bolts to hold them together. This is my just top piece. I'm planning on doing a filter with this 
but I welded the other ones because I have, you know, I got a welder sitting right there, so it was easier uh, just to make frames. So here's a side look of the, the battery pack. So this is the um, air fins I was talking about. So gapping with between the, the each cells uh, to get air through. Um, so these are each shelves, if you see there. Uh, three of them I had to make. The bottom one uh, I didn't paint. Um, it's galvanized, so it doesn't really need painting. So from the side profile, that's what the pack looks like. Uh, it's got plenty of room between each, uh, each pack itself. Uh, so the plan with this, I was going to go and finish, uh, put these corners and make a cabinet with the metal uh, siding, but that's, I'm going to go have to buy some. Uh, so the idea I came out with, you know, as you guys probably figured, I try to recycle and reuse as much material as possible with these builds or for any build. Uh, the si um, so the siding, I'm using the, the pellet this stuff came with. It was three quarter inch thick plywood. It's pretty good quality and it happened, uh, it's got another layer into it so I can just stick it in here and it's the perfect width of this material right here, the, the Superstar, I think it's an inch and a three quarter. Uh, so that flushes this side and the other side. So I got a two pellets, that was enough to do both sides. And then on top, like I said, I will do a, a slide and filter and for the backs I'll do another something there. So other thing I've been working as far as the update goes with these, uh, we have a lot of uh, mud divers and wasp situation around this garage because during the summer it stays open. So um, I put filters, just uh, aluminum um, screens on all of these fans as I'm trying to figure those out. Um, I got one figured out. Well, I got them all kind of figured out. Just still toying with the idea if I want to run them at 240 or uh, 110. Um, it's a four wire fan. Uh, which means I can get an RPM and I can uh, control the speed. Uh, so at this point, I'm just going to go full speed on this. And uh, the one thing I'm still debating on how I want to run them. So one of the ideas I had uh, just to do one temperature sensor, um, you know, 80 degree or so, uh, put them in one of the BMS that sits inside one of these packs. So all of these packs have the BMS sitting in except this one. I'll get to that in a second. Um, so put the temperature sensor on one of the BMS so it's further away from the cell, uh, wire these, uh, all these fans as one and have that temperature sensor kick in these fans. So if it goes over, you know, 80 degree, whatever temperature sensor I end up uh, getting for this, because during the summer, this is probably going to be used the most. Uh, winter, I'll, I can figure out another situation for as far as heating the pack up if it needs to be. Um, but I think with the wood uh, siding and the insulation on the back, it, it would be plenty. And I'll still got to figure out the door situation on it. Um, but that's what I was thinking, just one sensor. But then also somebody I mentioned, maybe I should go with four sensors since I have four fans. Put one sensor in each uh, pack. That way I'll know if one pack is running hotter than the other, the fan will cycle. Um, which kind of works also. So if you have any idea which route I should take, please go ahead and comment down below. Um, that way, you know, I have idea which route I should take. And if you notice with this bar setup, uh, so this is a quarter inch by one inch bar that I had laying around. Well, I had one four inch bar, so I cut it into pieces and I put an insulation in between. So like I mentioned earlier in my videos, I wanted the positive of all the 48s to be one side. So that's all positives coming down, all the way down. And then the negative for the same 48, it comes down this direction. Um, I need to get another piece here, um, I'll read in short, um, but I'll order one of those. That's about 12 inches apart. And the wiring mess you see here, that is for my fifth pack. So each of these became um, one pack, but then I had four cells extra, if you guys remember from the previous video. So what I end up doing with that is taking those cells, cells, combining it. So the negative of this pack, the first pack is down here. So that's a 12 volt coming out and that's the negative for that. And this wire going in is equal distance, um, all four of them, or all three of them. Um, so this is one uh, um, flex, again, high quality silicone cable that runs from the first pack and then goes into the second pack. And then from the second pack, that becomes 24. It goes in, um, I didn't have the consistent colors. And, um, so this 24 negative comes here and then it goes into the 
third where it goes in there and it becomes 36 from there it goes up again I just took this one off it's laying here if you notice and it goes up here that becomes the third you know the final 48 so the 48 the, that's the fifth pack out of these four um, so the positive for that comes out here right there equal distance and then the negative that's where that's why this looks kind of wiring mess uh, that's the fifth BMS and the wires were long enough to put the BMS right in the center and uh, and I also like this I can touch it and you know or get an infrared on it just to see how the temperature works out for this and even these wires are same it's a four out um, uh, silicone cable that worked out perfect and then that's the where the negative comes in for the fifth pack so the powder is down below negatives there and these are only temporary wires uh, as I have some for uh, I need to work um, into this to connect it to the inverter. I have one out right now, two sets, uh, but I'm planning on upgrading that to four out. And this pack final in place will be, so it's about 20 inch wide and about 36 deep. So I'm planning on flipping it to its side once I put the siding in. Uh, that way I have enough space to have it on its side. Again, it'll be wood siding on both sides, uh, plywood and a filter on top. And uh, so far, I'm really happy with this pack. Again, thank you for everybody uh, liking, subscribing, and sharing these videos. Um, I'm, I'm very happy. The cells are doing great. We've been uh, uh, pretty much a, a cloudy, it looks brighter now, uh, cloudy, rainy, uh, this is northeast, for the last four days. And I'm uh, only down to 50% of this pack. This pack was charged once. Um, of course, that's also included. That's about 30 kilowatt there. Um, so I'm really happy with it. I'll do a detailed video on the complete setup. Some of the wires look kind of weird. It's not final yet. Um, there's, there's been more than a few inverters set up and different set up through this house. Uh, finally, I'm happy with what I have. And these definitely work great. And if you look at the air channel down here, that's where the air goes through the each battery and it comes out on the side. Um, and one other thing I noticed about this fan it uh, sucks air just similar to our servers. I mean, it blows air just like the servers do. So I can't get it to, I might be able to reverse it where it blows into the pack uh, for the winter, but I, so far it's just gonna pull air out. That's why I have screens as well. I wanna have a filter because uh, it's in a garage, which is not much room here. Um, I got a lot of things in this place. It's a small, really low ceiling garage. Um, and also other thing I've been doing with this is I have this monitoring software. It just runs on an iPad. It just basically gives you all of them off because I'm uh, taping right now. Um, so all of them, uh, this monitoring is pretty cool. It's free for uh, iPad, I think Android also. It's called BMS tool. It's, uh, you can't really do much with it other than you can monitor and you can look into the temperature and whichever cell you pick, which is pretty neat. So until I figure out something else, it'll you know, this is something I use to keep an eye on all the pack. And I like it where, you know, compared to other apps, it just gives you percent and where you stay, you know, what's the status charge is. The fifth one says 100% because it's disabled and I have it disconnected. Um, so that's what it kind of looked like. And uh, that's what the rack looks like so far. I'll do a final video once it's, it's at a final resting place. Um, like I said, only thing I'm working on now is finishing out the cabinet. Uh, getting the fans working properly with the proper temperature sensors. Um, and I am able to move this with uh, just a motorcycle jack um, or even a standard jack, I can move it. It's, it's, so far, I think it's about 1,400 pounds maybe, uh, which is not bad. So on that note, please like, subscribe, and share. Hopefully uh, this video is helping out. Again, make sure you, if you're wiring the BMS with the, these wires, um, Make sure you cut one at a time. Check the voltage before you wire that to the BMS lead that you need to, you know, one to 16 or first negative, first cable negative, you know, positive. And also another thing, sorry, I keep dragging this. Another thing uh, about uh, this pack, uh, I'm able to use the factory temperature sensor. So the sensors that came with uh, the BMS, they're really short. So uh, there's no certain polarity on these. So if you trace this down, um, and then there's another one here that I used right here on this side. So this have four, there's two back there. Um, but I use these two to uh, manage this 
packs um, temperature. And they do work. I already tested them out for low voltage and uh, uh, low temperature and high temperature. So I, I basically wired those up um, here. And if you notice, the, the wires are tucked in nicely. They're not touching anything. And this is my uh, negative going to the BMS, which is kind of nice. So this, this really works out great. Nothing is moving. And the only thing that looks weird is the fifth BMS. I didn't want to extend any wires, so they kind of sit out here for that. And then, you know, comes down all the way. So I'm happy with it. And uh, hopefully somebody's going to, you know, build a similar pack. If I had the option, I'll probably do another pack if I need another battery. Uh, same four packs or five packs in this case. Uh, thanks again. Um, good luck. And if you have any questions, please uh, leave it in the comment below. I'll try to get to as many as I can. Um, have a great day. Thank you.